ओके सो इवन दो वी आर एंगुलर डेवलपर और इवन दो वी आर रिएक्ट डेवलपर मीन्स बेसिकली फ्रंट एंड डेवलपर सो वी एक्चुअली वी डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट द डेटा बेस एंड द एपीआई बट एज युअर एक्सपीरियंस गोज ग्रोज यू शुड हैव अ बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ डेटा बेस बिकॉज वी आर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर डजेंट मैटर वी आर फ्रंट एंड डेवलपर और बैक एंड डेवलपर वी आर डेवलपर करेक्ट सो डेटा बेस इज लाइक द एबीसीडी ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग सो यू शुड हैव द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ डेटा बेस लाइक हाउ डेटा बेस इज क्रिएटेड what's the purpose of database what are tables what columns we can create in a table what are primary key what are prime foreign key just the basic not in very detail but at least basic thing you should be aware this will help you when you are moving up to let's say lead position because even though you are a front end developer sometime after some time you are going to lead a team so when you are going to lead a team you need to discuss with api team like what Uh, what kind of api are you are going to need right so if you have the basic understanding of database so you could communicate properly with the api team got it so that is the advantage like you should have the basic understanding of database so many things are there which uh, what we can say business understanding domain knowledge this also you can get better if you have the database knowledge by seeing just the html form you should understand what database table might uh, what columns my database particular in that table should have right so you should have that basic understanding okay now coming back to the database so i'm going to take a car rental application so today i have just released the episode that was car rental application but it was i have done it with the local storage but what if we have to do the well, what if we have to create the database and then api also correct then in angular we can consume that api rather than using the local storage we can actually consume the api correct now so when it comes to database like first database is there correct so if, when we talk about database uh, let's say ms sql is there which is from microsoft mysql is also there then sql lite mongodb so many database are there different types of vendors are there some database are SQL database and some some are no SQL database like MongoDB or Cassandra. So many databases are there where indexing and tables are not there. Directly object will get stored. Okay, but in this particular session we are going to talk about MS SQL. So where we create the database, table, primary key, foreign key. Okay, now so in my system I have already installed the MS SQL server. so when you have to install when you when you want to implement the database in your local system first you need to implement the data uh, you need to install the server sql server then management studio so this is the management studio this is like visual studio right we use visual studio can you please mute let me just disable it okay so just like for angular developer ang angular development we use visual studio as a editor so to access the database this is kind of a editor microsoft sql management studio okay so in that database is there now what we call it as a uh, what we will call as a database so let's say you are working on a project let's say we talk about any company and in that company we have three different client so and three different client has three different projects going on with us so we will create three different databases for them okay each project will have a dedicated database like whatever the data we are going to uh, do the transaction in that application that we will store into a respective database okay so we are discussing about car rental application so let's create a database first so uh, this is a database so right click on that and a new database so whatever i am doing over here by using graphical user interface we can do the same thing by writing query also okay so let's name the database like rental db and now when we are creating the database we can provide the initial size also so by default it is 8 mb or some 64 mb or something so we can specify like how much data we are going to store like that we can specify the size also okay so i'm just going with the default configuration whatever we get okay on click of okay so now you can see oh spelling mistake is there let me just correct it again we can rename always rental db okay so we have created the database now coming back to our rental application so 
we are talking about the rental car rental application means let's say we have a client who has a business and he has so many car and he gives that cars on the rent right so what things he might be needed in that software? Let's say he comes to us and he want to build a software for managing his business. That is nothing but car rental application. So what are the modules that particular software will have? So just an initial. So first like cars, we need to store like what number of cars he has, uh, its model, its color, let's say, uh, right. Uh, when it manufacturing that, whatever basic thing, right. And obviously he is going to rent it so he is going to charge it also so in car he will uh, he will add like what is the rate like per hourly or per daily whatever the rate he is going to get he is going to charge that also we will store in the car table so first table we are talking about car so in car table we will just store the basic data of the car okay then car is created like what are the cars he has we have created that in in our application after that we need the just creating car is not enough right when some customer came to his shop he is going to give that car to that customer so he need to record that somewhere so there will come the booking so before booking we need to store the customer into another table okay so when we talk about database now just like in normal angular development also we try to divide the work or whenever we talk about angular project setup we try to categorize the folders correct so in database also even though we can in let's say we create a booking table and in that booking table only we can store the customer name also but we don't normally follow that approach for each entity we create a separate table so that if we need let's say after some day he just need the customer list and he want to send some uh, messages about the offer or let's say he want to greet uh, the customer on particular occasion so he need that customer list so for that, for every entity, whatever in our project are the entities are there, we normally create a separate table for that. So second table we will be using is customer. In this table, we will just store the customer data. Then we will have booking table. Okay. So in booking table, actually, we will store the data of which customer is uh, uh, renting which car. Okay. So booking table will have a data of customer plus car plus booking details okay so these are the three tables we are going to discuss now how you can create a table so there are two ways first you can execute a query okay otherwise you can right click on that and you can create a table also first we will see by creating the query and then we will use the shortcut way so now on this database i have to create the i have to run a query to create a new table so right click on it a new query on this particular database i'm creating a new query now so it will open a window yeah okay now now we have to create a new table so basically like to create new table in sql let's say if we talk about sql or mysql queries are same even though oracle also basic things are same in all the database even uh, if it is ms sql mysql or oracle also in all the three data databases different databases basic things are common okay some things will change but in mongodb or cassandra it's totally different but we are talking about just the three parallel databases now we have to create the new table so we have a query like say create what we have to create table so table okay then we have to provide the table name so what we are going to create first is the customer so customer okay then round bracket now inside round bracket we have to create the columns like what number of columns i am going to have so if we are talking about customer so how many columns uh, what kind of data we are going to store okay now here comes the first concept that is primary key so most of us are already working or uh, we already have seen the api at least right so whenever we see any api and if we check about get api or post api let's say if we talk about product so we will get product id over there if we talk about customer we will get customer id if we talk about employee we will get employee id if we talk about department we might have department id so in every object there is certain id which is something unique okay so that is nothing but primary key in the database 
So you might have used uh, some of my APIs or you might have used APIs from your project. So get all, get all customer or get all project or some API where you are getting the data. So you will get the array of object and in that object, you will have ID. Okay. If it is an employee array, you will have employee ID. Again, employee name and basic details will be there, but ID will be there. Okay. So that is nothing but the primary key and which will be unique. So when we create table, right? So to identify particular record, we should have something unique. So that is what primary key. Okay. So we are creating a customer table. So we will have customer ID. This will be my primary key. Here I'm creating a column. Now, this is just my column name. Now just uh, consider Angular application. When we create a variable, we assign a data type. Just like that, we are creating a column means the space to store the customer ID. So we need to provide the data type also. In Angular, we have number. In database, we have int. Okay. So in Angular, whatever the thing, data type, we have number in TypeScript. In, S in SQL, we have integer. Okay. So that is not called as int. Now, now this column, customer ID column is going to be my primary key. So I can define like that primary key. So now this column is now primary key. Now how many primary keys I can have in a column? Only one. Because I said like it should be something unique. So in a table, you cannot have two things which are unique. At least one should be unique. So that will be primary key. Okay. Another thing is like identity key, but we won't go in deep. So just consider like primary key, only one primary key we will have. So that will be customer ID. Now, this is first column, then comma. Now we have to create second column. Let's say customer name. Okay. Now when coming back to Angular, when we create a variable and we want to store the string data, we write string. Now in the database, a relevant data type to string is varchar. Okay. And we have to specify the length also. So now you might have, if you are working, you might have faced like when we create any form, we have to add the validation also like min length, max length. API team, or, no, API team normally provide us like what is the minimum length and maximum length it can have. So that get decided by the column. So let's say in customer name, I said 100 characters. Now, while inserting the data to this table, if you pass more than 100 characters, it will throw the error because the length, we have decided as 100 characters. So customer name column will only store character max 100 length. Okay. So when we create a variable in Angular, we cannot do like that. We can store an, any type of num characters or any number of type of data. Correct. But while creating column, we have to specify like what number of character you are going to store in this particular column. Correct. Customer name. Then let's say customer city. Basic detail, whatever we need. Where care. Let's say customer city maximum 50 character, then mobile number, mobile number. Now, when it comes to mobile number, let's say we are creating an application for Indian uh, business. So obviously 10 digit we can provide. Okay. So here we will specify 10 digit, right? We missed the comma. Then we can ask for the email ID also. So where care? Email ID, let's say we can put it as 100. Someone can have a long name and plus at the gmail.com something. So these are the basic thing. Again, when it comes to actual application, this won't be the limited columns. In actual application, there will be n number of columns. But we are just trying to focus on the completing the application. So we will just limit to this. So in customer table, we have created customer ID column, customer name, customer city, mobile number, and the email. Now we have to run this query. So here you can see execute is there. So if I click on execute, now here you can see command completed successfully means our table got created successfully. So now here you can see table, see customer table is created. Okay. Now we have created customer table. Okay. In that customer ID is our primary key. So what happens in, uh, let's say, let's create second table for storing cars. Okay. So now create. Okay. Now this is the one way by which you can create the table by using SQL query. Now this is something like time taking and we have to write so many things. Another way is in SQL. So we can just right click on that new and table. 
So whatever you were doing by writing the query, you can do it over here also. Let's say we are creating a table for call, uh, car, storing cars. So let's say car ID. This is going to be my primary key. Data type integer and not null. And here you can do the right click and set as a primary key. Okay. Then let's say car. What things we can have in a car. So uh, those who have worked in the, let's say insurance domain or any project related to car. So we normally store make and model. So car make, make means like Honda, uh, Celery, uh, uh, Maruti, uh, Mahindra, like that. Okay. But we won't go that. So let's use brand. Brand will, we will use this column to store like, is it Maruti? Is it Mahindra? Right. Is this Koda like that? So brand again, it will be where care. Let's say we will uh, go with the ma uh, maximum length as 50 character. Then brand after that model. So out of Mahindra, what is the actual model name? So this is the column for that, where care 50. Then we will have year, year of manufacture, like, like in which year it was created, uh, this model is, okay? So we can add the, we can go with integer also because it is going to be 2000, uh, just four uh, numbers are going to be there. So we will go with integer. Then we will have color. Just the basic detail. Again, in actual application, let's say if you talk about Ola or Uber, there are also car, uh, car table will be there, but they will have so many fields. Okay. But we are just focusing on completing the basic structure. So we will go with this. Then we, as we decided, like this car are going to be rented. So we need to store the rate also. When we create the car user, like whoever the business owner who is going to use this application, he will enter the rate also. So let's say daily rate. Okay. Now, when it comes to rate, let's say if we are uh, creating application for the Indians, so obviously no one is uh, dealing with Paisa now, right? Everyone is uh, concerned with like, uh, uh, let's say 1000, 2000, 120. But if we are building an application for uh, outside, let's say dollar. So their point also matter, right? So now if we have to store the integer type of data, we have this data type integer. But what if you need to store the decimal point value? So we have to go for float. Okay. Or decim decimal also is there. So to store point value, we have two data type float or decimal. Okay. So we will go with float. Okay. So we have said the primary key. Now with primary key, we have one more thing. So when we are entering the data, I said like primary key should be unique. Okay. So now if you don't in database also, we have something uh, property that is identity. So you don't have to worry about that uniqueness. Like whenever you are creating the car, whatever the car ID you are passing, you don't have to worry about that. How is it? So I have selected this column. Okay. So here we have this property identity. Okay. And if I'm saying it, yes, and it will increment by yes. So whenever you are insert, whenever you are trying to insert the data into car table, now you don't have to pass the car ID. You just have to pass the remaining detail. Database will automatically increment car ID one by one after every record. So this is identity. So every time a unique value will be inserted. You don't have to worry about the uniqueness. Database will create a unique value every time. So while creating this table, we forgot that. So here we write like this. If we have to uh, do the same thing while creating the query now. So we write identity and one comma one. So whatever we have did over there now. Sorry, whatever we did over here, this is nothing but equivalent to this identity. Okay. Now, so let's save it. So this is uh, while creating the query, we have to click on execute. Now this is a UI. So we have to click on save over here. Then it will ask for the table name. So the table name will be cars save. So we have created our two table. Let's refresh. So customer table we have created and car table. Let's edit the customer table also. Now again, I can open the same design, right click and the design. Now let's make this customer ID identity. Let's save it. Okay. So we have created two table now comes for, comes for the booking table. Okay. So let's write 
let's create a book type ball. so now we are talking about booking table so it will have primary key that will be booking id now in booking table we to show for which customer has rented which car so obviously again we are not going to store the customer name over here or car name over here we have a separate table for that so we just need to use id from that table so here say customer id or let's make it cust id so that you will understand cust id integer not null and here car id and car number foreign keys why is it foreign keys because the data we will be inserting into this will come from this table customer and the cars consider like amazon so in amazon when you register your record will get inserted into customer table and when you purchase anything when you order anything yet that order detail will be stored into order table so in order table your customer name and mobile number won't be there just customer id will be there just like that okay so that is nothing but foreign key in your application if you are working if you know whenever we talk about any object we will get one id that is unique and again if we in that object if we have any another id so that is normally foreign key so if you have seen my e-commerce application or if you have, if you have used that so in product we have category id right so that will denote like this product is of which category but that category name will be stored in another table that is category just like that so customer id and car id are nothing but foreign keys which are coming from this okay and booking id is my primary key then booking date when this booking was created we need to store everything right booking date so to store the date we have date time just like in type script we have date just like that here also we have date time there we uh, call it as a date here we have date also and date time also we use date when we have to store just the date but if we have to store the date plus time we have to go for the date time okay then uh, let's say uh, how many cars he has okay cars we cannot because car id is there so customer detail customer id is there car id is there booking is let's say total amount or let's say first discount let's say while creating car he has provided the rate but let's say he is giving discount also so i will provide a discount field to store like what number of discount he has given then total amount total bill amount and it will be let's say again float okay so this is going to be my booking table so let's click on save now booking okay so we have created three table but i said customer id and car id are my foreign key so we have to put the relation also so how do we put it right click on that click on relationship now we have to establish the relation also now like the i said like this is customer id but from which table this customer id is going to come so that relation we have to maintain so on click of add here we have to specify the table now primary key, key table what we are talking about uh, this is our foreign key table so let's say car is our primary key table from that car id is going to be my primary key and from booking table this car id will get connected to my car id this is first foreign key relationship then second for customer again click on over here this is customer table from customer we have to use customer id is my primary key now foreign key is nothing but a primary key of some another table so in booking table we are going to connect this customer id with cust id so that's why i just given the name cust id so that you should understand so this customer id is nothing but customer id which is from primary key so we are just describing the relations okay let's click on save let's click on close and again we have to save it now we have established the relation also between these tables okay right so we have created tables now we have to insert the data also okay let me just close all so currently we have three tables so first table like where we have to insert the data will be customer okay so now i will right click again i will open a new query window 
now we while creating as i said like you can execute a query also or you can manually put it uh, manually create it also while inserting data also there are two ways either you can run the query or you can manually or enter also okay now we have to enter the data into let's say first we will enter the data into car so insert into our table name so table name is nothing but cars why it is not suggesting let's try Rental DB selected. Just give me a moment. Yeah, sorry. Okay. So when we have to insert the data into table, there are two ways. First, like you can specify the column name, column name also, and the values also. So obviously we know like car, uh, how many table, how many columns are there. Let me just expand columns. Okay. So these are the columns we have. So now what we can do insert into our table name, then values. Okay. Now inside values, we have to specify the value. As I said, like while creating table, car ID is our primary key and it is identity. So while inserting the data, we don't have to send that, but remaining column, remaining data we have to send. So first is like, uh, we are passing brand. So let's say Maruti column. Then second will be, let's say Maruti 800. Okay. This is model, then year, let's say 2021 is the year. Then let's say color, red, then daily rate. So daily rate, let's say 1000 and round bracket complete. So this is how we insert the data into table. Insert into your table name and values. Here, another way is like, you can provide the column name also like here. But we know like what uh, columns we have. So we, we are just escaping that brand. Like that you can specify the columns also. But that is a, just the long process. So we can directly insert the data by using values also. Okay. Let's try to execute. Invalid column name Maruti. Why insert into table name. Single quote is needed. Let's try. So see, single code, single code needed over here. So one row affected. Okay. So successfully data got inserted. Now let's see, I need to see the data. Okay. So let me just comment this. Now to see what number of data I have inserted into my particular table, I have to write select star from. Okay. Select star from after from you need to specify the table name that is cars. Okay. Let's execute this. So you can see now see car ID. We didn't while inserting the data, we didn't specify car ID, but database has inserted that unique ID one Maruti 800, whatever we have done. Let's insert one more car. And let's say we have Celerio. Let's say 2022. Let's make it blue. Let's make it 1400. Okay. Now I'm executing two queries at the time. First, this query will run after that this query. So you will see the updated data also. See, getting it. Okay. So this is how we insert the data. So cars we have created, then we have to create the customer. Now customer, I will showcase another way by directly right click and edit. So directly we will get the UI structure and you can insert. So customer ID is our primary key and which is also identity. So we don't have to specify. Let's say Chetan customer. What is this city? Let's say Pune mobile number. Now while creating uh, uh, database, we have said like maximum 10 number, but here you can see I have added more than 10 number. 
okay so now once i press on tab let's say email also we will enter okay and if i click on next you will face you will get the error that error will be like this data would be truncated because mobile number has the uh, max length set as 10 digit only so more than 10 if you pass it won't execute it won't allow the data to enter okay so that is the validation okay so let's enter 00990099000 now it will successfully enter see customer id we have got two why two because previous attempt got failed so that one id got wasted so it will next id it will give okay so even if we execute sql also see two id we have got okay let's create one more customer rahul mumbai let's enter mobile dummy mobile number rahul at the red gmail.com okay so see next customer id three record got so we have one car we have two car and we have created two customer also now comes to the booking part let's edit this and here booking id is again our primary key and identity so we don't have to send it customer id now here you just pay attention what no, what are the customer ids we have two and three okay but here if i'm trying to insert five car id i will insert correct one okay let's say customer is booking maruti 800 so one i will post, pass, pass it over here this is booking date so let's say 17 04 2024 booking whenever it comes to date now you need to send the proper format sorry then discount let's say zero and total bit let's say what was the bill we said in car 1000 something so let's say 1000 so see it is not allowing us to create the data why because we have we have added the relation so it is checking like if this customer id is present in our customer table or not in customer id we don't have any customer with customer id for you so it won't allow us to create okay but if we pass let's say two over here so now again it is not creating column does not allow booking id booking id is identity we didn't set i think we missed to set the identity mm, see identity is no so we have that id also mandatory okay let's keep it as it is and now i will pass the id okay so see now customer is created okay now we said like for this customer id we have a relation in booking now if i try to delete the customer now i will explain one more query how we delete the record so delete from customer sorry small c is there okay so if we run this query now what it will does it will delete all the record from my table but i need to delete particular record so here i have to specify the condition where now in angular with typescript we write now let's say if we have an array and from that array we need to find uh, find particular record so we use find or filter so just like that here also we have where okay those who know .NET or java they might know the uh, clause like where single or default first or default just like that in data database also we have where okay now where what i need to compare where cust id right what is the column customer id now customer id equal to now in booking table we have stored the data of customer id too let's try to delete this customer we have added the relation right so it should not allow us to delete see we have got the error saying we have a foreign key reference it's like deleting the customer who has booking so if we delete the customer in booking table what we have just the customer id how it will know like what is the customer name and what is the customer mobile number so by adding that relation we have added we have prevented accidental data deletion okay now in customer table let me just see how so in customer table actually we have two table uh, two record two and three for two customer we have a reference in booking table let me just close it so in booking table we have a booking of customer id too 
but customer id 3 doesn't have any booking so if we try to delete that where is the query oh we close it let's write it over here delete from customer where customer id equal to 3 so now customer id 3 has no dependency because it has it uh, customer id 3 hasn't made any booking so there is no relation with this right so if you see the booking table we just have a booking with customer id 2 customer id 3 that is rahul doesn't have any booking so now if we try to delete now it will delete see one row affected let's refresh this only one customer is there but we were not able to delete the customer number or customer id with having two that's because it has a dependency his booking in booking table it has a relation so this is how you uh, this is why foreign key is very important got it so this is how we insert the data but let's say we are angular developer right so we rely on the api side api term does this whatever we did now we did it directly in the database but api team will do these things in the api and the that code they will write it in the api and that api we consume so like this whole cycle will come from angular you will request to the api api will request to the database from database it will get the data and again from api we will get the data back that is the whole cycle so that's why it is very important that you should have basic understanding of the database okay I hope you might have got the basic idea like how we create the table, what is primary key, what is foreign key. Only if you know these three things, now, that is also very enough. Okay. It's almost like we should have at least this kind of information. What is primary key? What is foreign key? What is table? What do we create in the table? What, what are the columns, data types? This should be important, right? So that's it.